What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix a PC monitor not waking up from sleep mode. So if your PC has gone into sleep mode and it's not waking up and you've got a black screen, then this video is for you. So first, let's take a look at one of the options you've got here. So right click on the start button and go to uh, device manager. The first place you want to check here is going to the keyboard and the mouse. So we're going to take a look at the keyboard here first. So open this up here. And basically inside here, you should see the keyboard device, right click and go properties and then power management. Make sure that the tick is inside, allow this device to wake up the computer. This means that when you wiggle uh, the mouse or touch the keyboard, the monitor screen will wake up. So make sure the ticks are in those, as you see here on all of these ones inside keyboard. Once you've done the keyboard, you can move on to the mouse and basically right click, go properties and go to power management here and then put the tick in, allow this device to wake up the computer. Another thing to make sure is to make sure your keyboard and your mouse is functioning properly and it's not broken because if it is, then obviously no matter what you're doing here, it's not going to work. So just make sure that those are working correctly here. Okay, next up, what we're gonna do here is move on to the next thing, which is going down uh, to the search box here and type power. You should see uh, power and sleep settings go inside here. And once you're inside here, what you're looking for is additional power settings. Go in there and we'll click on this one here. Once you're inside here, you're looking for your uh, particular type of plan and click on this and change your plan. You should see turn off monitor display to never and also put the computer to sleep to never. I've put that there because I don't use sleep mode, but if you do, yours will be enabled. Make sure you go into the PCI Express settings here, check the uh, link state uh, power management here and turn this to off. And hopefully that resolves your problems. Click apply and OK. And you're good to go. So don't worry about the settings where it says never and never. It's just because I don't use sleep mode. Never have because it's never worked very well for me in the past. If you want to fix it as well, you can also go to the search box, type CMD and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt box here. The next thing you need to do here is type this command here. Power CFG dash hibernate space off. And this will basically turn off hibernation and hopefully your screen will come back uh, to life. Now, if you do want to use hibernate again, you can just put the command back on, which is power cfg uh, space dash hibernate space on and that will turn hibernation back on but once you've uh, got those done you can move on to another thing if it's still not working go to reg edit and type that into search box and open up the registry editor once you get into here what you want to do is h key local machine here go to system open that up there then go to current control set click on this one and open it up and then go to control, open uh, that up there, and then go down to where it says power. You should see uh, power down here. So go to power, click on power. On the right hand pane, you might have, uh, which is called CS enabled here. So capital C and small s and then enabled. Turn this to zero, which uh, turns it off. And basically that should solve your problem. If not, we can try something else here. Let's go down to the search box and type power again. Go into the power and sleep settings again. Uh, make sure that you've got the additional power settings here. Click on this and go into here. And once you're in here, go into your plan again. Change uh, current plan settings. Inside here, you can go back into your power options. And again, make sure the hard drive uh, is set to never. Uh, you'll see it on there and there's a bunch of other settings you can check inside here to make sure everything is okay so just make sure you've got this on never for your hard drive make sure that is set to never and also there's some other settings inside here which you can mess with to make sure that they are set uh, to the correct settings and these will be to do with your sleeping and also your hibernation and things like that you can check all of the settings inside here to make sure they are set to the correct settings. 
and hopefully that will resolve your thing. So just go through the power plan setting here and make sure anything to do with power and sleep and hibernation is uh, into the right settings there. Okay, down on the bottom right, right click on the little computer icon and open up network and internet settings. This will take us to the status page and go to where it says change adapter options. Click on this one and choose your option uh, for your internet. So I'm going to right click on this and go properties. This will open up the ethernet uh, properties box. From there, go to configure. Once you open the configure box, what we're going to do here is just make sure the power management is uh, on to allow uh, this device to wake up the computer. Make sure that is on there and also go to advanced here. And what we're going to do is go down to where it says wake up on magic package. Uh, you want to make sure that's set to disable. And also you want to make sure that wake up on patterned match is also set to disable as well. So set those to uh, disable by just using the drop down arrow here and click disable. And once they're all set, you can click OK. And sometimes that resolves the problem uh, for what you're having here. So that's now done. Let's move on to another option that you can try to resolve this issue. And that is to do with your graphics driver. Sometimes the graphics driver can cause an issue. So updating your graphics card driver can resolve this problem. Also, if you've uh, got a graphics card on here and you've also got onboard graphics listed here, it might be advisable to disable the onboard graphics and use your graphics card. Uh, sometimes I've seen people with two options in there. That can cause an issue. So if you have got uh, onboard graphics there, just disable it. I don't have it, uh, but if you do, you can disable it by right-clicking and uh, clicking on disable. You can also disable it in the BIOS. So what we're going to do here is go to add and remove programs and you want to remove the graphics card driver here. Now you can go into a uh, control panel and then basically programs and features and look for NVIDIA drivers or AMD drivers and remove uh, the actual uh, graphics card driver. You just uninstall these, just click on these and click uninstall. If you want a much more thorough job of removing uh, the graphics card driver, then you can use uh, DDU. Now DDU is Display Driver Uninstaller. It also works for AMD and for NVIDIA. And this will basically uh, remove the driver from the system and delete every uh, remnants of that driver. And you can then go to the website for AMD and also NVIDIA and download the latest drivers and get those installed onto the system. And hopefully that should then resolve your issue. Now, hopefully these fixes will help you resolve getting a black screen uh, after entering sleep mode. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.